What is up ladies and gentlemen, CJ the Cheese DJ here and we're back with the Monster Hunter World video. Now today I'll be showing you how to farm lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of decorations. Now before you go, I just want to make a few things clear. Make sure you come to the research center and fill up your bounties for the high rank monsters. Now I don't know if we have it at the moment. Uh, yes, you can see here capture, no. You want the one that says hunt to high rank large monsters. This will allow you to get extra rewards for completing this quest. Now, another thing that you're gonna want to need is a bandit mantle. Now, if you don't have that, we have another video on that that you can see in the description. You're then gonna want to bring a weapon that has a lot of reach. So, I personally like to use the hammer or the longsword, but you can use the charge blade, the great sword, the, the, the switch axe, whatever long range weapon you want. I wouldn't recommend using the twin blades because they're, it's a little bit eh, eh. Anyway. What you're going to want to go into is post a new quest and go down to events. Now this quest does have a limited time so make sure you get into it while you can and while it's still there. Now this quest requires you to hunt three monsters. A great Jagras, a great Jiros and a D Dagoron. I think that's how you say his name. Okay, so once you've done that, accept the quest, head on out on it and you're going to want to defeat the monsters. Now, this quest is a great way to make a lot and lot and lot of money, as well as farm the particular monster's parts. As you saw, these guys are all high ranks, and their health diminishes with every extra monster in the arena. So these guys have a lot less health than they would if you were to fight them one on one. Now, once you get into the arena, come to the balusters, just to get the attentions of all the monsters at once. You can see they're kind of spread out, so the Great Jiros is down there. The Great Jagras is just over there. Make sure you shoot at them to get their attention until they start coming over to you. The Dodoron is just there. You can see we have his attention now. Now these guys will fight. You can see they'll start fighting each other as well as us. Now your goal here is to kill all three of them, obviously. Now I would recommend putting on your bandit mantle before you start this fight and you know chowing down on any extra attack buffs you want to use. And then go to town on these monsters. Now the best part about using a weapon that's able to hit all of your targets at once is that you can farm these guys with the bandit mantle and essentially get a ton of materials of them if you don't die in the process like I do. I tend to do this mission in about five minutes if I'm being careful. If I'm being reckless like you just saw there, it'll probably take me about seven or eight minutes um, and I'll probably die a handful of times as well. But you know, that's obviously to be expected so don't worry about it too much. If you are happy with you know dying a couple of times then don't worry about it. The materials you get from these monsters definitely make up from the loss of gold that you would have received from the quest. And you can already see that we've gotten a quite a handful of material items on the floor waiting for us. Now, I personally like targeting the Dogma first because he, in my eyes, is the strongest of these three monsters. And then going for the Great Jagras and then the Jiros. The Jiros leave till last because it paralyzes its opponents and the monsters. It also does paralyze you, however, so do watch out for that. But that's all there really is to this quest. Now you'll see that at the end of the quest you'll actually get decorations as a reward. The maximum I have gotten from this quest is 5, but you can receive anywhere from 1 up to about 6 from what I've seen. And you can see here we're able to get pretty much all 3 of the monsters with our Spirit Slash here. You do have to watch out like I said for your health because it can drop very quickly with 3 monsters attacking you at the same time. But these guys essentially will start to die very soon. Now, if you are a bit hesitant on attacking them as well, you can always bring them down to the main arena bit, which is probably more advised. I would definitely say I would survive a lot longer down there. Um, and use the Falling Boulders as well as the Dragonator in this match quicker. But make sure you pick up the parts as you go along, otherwise they will despawn. But you can see here the amount of materials that we are getting from this. Now, once you finish this quest, you can sell them for a crap ton of money. And that's all there really is to this. You not only get decorations, but you also get a huge amount of materials. Just look at all these ones over here. We didn't mean to uh, harvest that Jiros there. As well as that, you get the actual monster's materials at the end of the fight, which you can then sell if you don't require them for anything, which I would definitely recommend doing because obviously it's just going to net you more and more money. And you can see there, once you pretty much get the Dragonator out, it's over for all of them. Now, as well as that, like I said, if you did collect the bounties of the things, these do count and it essentially allows you to get extra research points as well as armor fears, which, you know, hurts no one. So, make sure you fill up on your bounties as well. And there you go, you can see there we've completed the objective. Now, if you lack the time to kill the monsters, for example, 
So if you don't have a, if you kill one monster and then the other monster dies straight after, well, try and harvest them because they will disappear. And that prevents you from actually harvesting their materials. You can see the Great Jagras disappeared and we haven't had a chance to harvest it. So unfortunately, we miss out on harvesting it. So if you do kill them very far apart from each other, make sure you harvest the monsters in between. And you can see here the amount of rewards you receive. You receive a crap ton of the monster parts. As you can see, like words speak louder than the, the pictures. But you can see here as well, we get four face stones and jewel stones. Now these all get converted into decorations as well. Our Palico managed to get some. But you can get up to rarity six jewels from doing this. You can see there we've got a rarity six there as well as a few other ones. You can then use these to meld at the melder. And it's a great way to earn Palico levels, a great way to find the crowned monsters, and to earn a lot of money as well as decorations. Alrighty everyone, that'll be it for me today. Let me know what you thought of the video down below. Don't forget to check out my other Monster Hunter World videos. But other than that, thanks very much for watching everyone, and hopefully I'll catch you in the next one. I got this soda,